Our top story tonight, life on the Sun Coast is considered by some to be paradise. And part of that has to do with how much it costs to live here. Well, a recent national study takes a look at housing affordability. And tonight, SNN's John Woodruff finds out how we compare to 1,200 other counties. According to RealtyTrack.com, 81% of the U.S. population lives in a county with affordable housing. Their study took the median real estate price in a county and weighed what percentage of the median income it would take to pay a mortgage on that home. In Sarasota and Manatee, those numbers came in at around 19%. A lot of the properties that are going out there, a very significant proportion, are getting uh, multiple offers for their properties, and they're getting very, very close to their list price. But how affordable is affordable? The median income in Sarasota County is just under $50,000. The problem if you're making $30,000 or $40,000 or $50,000 is that your, uh, your debt to income ratio is not going to be very high. In May, the median list price in Sarasota County was $100,000. $99,000. But realtor Alex Crum says one of the most popular home prices in Sarasota is around $250,000. To get an affordable mortgage on a home at that rate, Crum says you'll need a higher income. $60,000 plus per year as an individual, you're going to qualify for something like that. Um, maybe $100,000 as a couple. Still, Crum says buyers are coming in all varieties, from millennials to couples doing some sideways moving, to people planning ahead. A lot of baby boomers who are coming into our area and they're they're picking up properties uh, and putting tenants in them for two to three to four years until they're actually ready to retire. While Realty Track says home prices are affordable now, Crum predicts with demand high, prices will continue to rise. Reporting in Sarasota, John Woodruff, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Now, if you'd like to see the full report, log on to RealtyTrack.com and click on Housing and Foreclosure Reports.